So you know what's funny? We came in today wearing proper shirts for filming. Oh, One of us forgot. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna call this guy out. Yeah, he's, yeah. Right. He's, got, he's got his mind. Oh, he's got his mind. Oh, he's got I figure hat. at least if I'm repping one thing, yeah, I agree. I'm on the team. You got the you underwear I mean? on too. I'm still on the team. You got the yeah, mind pump yeah. underwear on. So we're gonna do uh, overhead press. Overhead right? press. This is. Uh, I would consider this one of the most fundamental upper body pressing movements. Well, we just... It's even arguably, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. to the squat. I, well, not, I just beat you? Well, yeah. well, close. I was actually going to say, I would say this is probably more functional than a bench press. I know people put a lot of emphasis Ooh. on bench press. Ooh, I would say overhead argument. press. Yeah. That's arguable, right? Right. Pretty close. Well, we just you debated can make an it. argument for that. We just debated an article recently that some, where somebody came out and said that the bench press is the squat uh, for the upper body. Right. Which, uh, we all agree that... This would probably be your the squat or the squat for your upper body. A standing body. one, right? Standing, yeah, no bench, exactly. nothing like that. I would think that, like for the most part, as far as functional movement throughout the day, like you would see this pressing movement more frequently than you would this pressing movement. I, I, I would, I would agree. So. And, and having a really strong overhead press, it, it kind of means you're a strong person overall. You can support your back well. Exactly. Now, yeah. I, before you even get into this, I want to point out why a lot of clients, uh, at least in my experience, avoid it. Um, when you go to do an overhead press, it's really difficult for people to fully extend their arms because most people suffer from that poor posture. It's actually right? a weakness in the mid-back. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They have a hard time retracting and squeezing their scapula to keep themselves because what ends up happening, they're rounded, you go to elevate the shoulder above there, and what does it do? It can't go all the way up. That's right. Yeah. It hits, hits the socket and it can't go all the way up. So then people are like, they avoid it. or. They look up at it as they press and they arch that low back. Right, so or they get forward head involved yeah. quite excessively. Yeah, yeah. So there's all these little nuanced things we have to look out for as coaches. Well, uh, Justin, your, your biomechanics on the overhead press is uh, undoubtedly the most beautiful Whoa. of the mind pump crew. <laughs> so, so nice of you to say. So uh, maybe you can demo a proper overhead press. So typically I'll approach the bar with um, like a hip to shoulder width with my feet. Um, a nice comfortable pressing position. So this varies from individual to individual. But uh, for me, um, it's a little bit outside my shoulders and I'm gonna grab the bar and, and basically scoot my way into resting it onto my chest. So you're, you're lifting it off with your legs and then back. Lifting up. it off with my legs. I'm gonna step back, one, two. Now right here, I wanna get in position where I'm not too flexed here in the wrist. I wanna keep a nice tight so grip. So here's what I noticed, elbow under the hands. Elbow under the hands. So you're not too wide, you're not too forward. Hands, elbow, straight line, right? I'm supporting this weight right now by depressing my shoulder blades. So I'm in the sort of like a rack position with the kettlebell. Okay. But what I'm doing is I'm bringing it into my body. And now what I'm going to do from here is make sure that my core is nice and supporting my back. My glutes are tight. My chin is in a neutral position and I'm going to press overhead now, into full extension. Now this is important, Doug. If you can come around to the side here, yeah. you'll notice the bar is over his head. It's a nice, tall extension. He's not looking up at the bar like a lot of guys do. You see a lot of guys looking up at the bar, leaning back. Everything's real strong. It's it's a straight line all the way down. Well, you're looking for this, right? His ears, his arm, hips, everything's all aligned. A nice, right. good straight line all the way down. You also, it's hard to tell, but he's also got good retraction right here in his scapula. So he's squeezing his scapula together right now while he's doing it. His back's not rounded forward. Now, when he lowers it, he's got to clear his head, right? So it's in front of his head. So. And again, when he presses it up, it's almost like he goes up, but then brings his body through a little bit. Yeah. Yep. So, so there's I, a little call... bit of a rock sort of from back in my heels midfoot into the forefoot. So let's press it again, let's see. So he presses up and his body comes through. See that part? Yeah. And now he's, he's directly under the bar. I call this, uh, I don't know how, how you guys teach this, but I call this pulling your chest and head through the window. So mm -hmm. Justin presses up, as he presses up, he pulls his chest and his head through this window that he's creating with his hands. So that's how I teach this movement to a client is pull your head and chest through the window as you press up above you. Now I pulled my body back on the way down and I'm making sure to stay tense in that process so I'm not just letting it slam down into my body. Always staying tight. And then Excellent you, upper it's important, body exercise. It's important too to know that when he comes all the way to the top, notice that he, he holds that and he stabilizes it up there. I see a lot of guys get in there just pumping and repping out. The, the 
we're stabilizing at the top becomes right. just as important as the pressure. Oh my god, that's focus. big time. Yeah. Lose focus a lot on tensing up your body to support your spine, which is the most important piece to this even lifting anything over your head. It really yeah. compromises your back. In yeah. fact, I used to press that way where I would st where I'd go up and come down real quick. Yeah. Now I hold every single rep for about two seconds at yeah. the top. I actually hold for, a, I hold for a solid a three idea. to five. I yeah. hold. I actually hold for a good amount of time up there just because you're getting so you're getting just as much benefits from the stabilization piece of holding that much weight above you. Uh -huh. I want to get comfortable with that feeling now, of being able to hold. Now, have you noticed, because I've noticed more shoulder and upper back development because I'm holding the bar at yes. the top. Yes, so, so many muscles 100%. in your in your back and your shoulders have to incorporate just to stabilize that. So that's the stabilization piece at the top, such a such an important point. I think all of us make our clients, we all do that personally. Take too. your time, look at it as a skill. You get another skill that you want to master. Yep. And it's important to note that if you have a hard time, if you uh, are one of those clients who when they press, they can't extend all the way up like that, there is something going on neurologically back here, you're having a hard right. time getting that retraction, and then I would tell you to look back to some of our other videos where we talk about waking right. up those Very back good point. muscles. Very good point.